Welcome back, everybody. We have finally made it to day five. You're over halfway done. If this were a standard work week, you would already be finished. But we know, and the topic of this is, old habits are hard to break. So accountability is the key to really beating procrastination. Um, beating procrastination can be hard. So while we often can do well for a few days, then the old habits start to set back in or we get frustrated with our lack of apparent progress. So no, nothing ever seems to go fast enough. So if you're facing a small setback at this point, it may be enough to stop working on what you wanted to accomplish in the first place. Thankfully, there's something you can do to greatly improve your chances of success. And that, my dear friends, is accountability. Number one, track your progress. So start by tracking what you do. You can do this with a simple habit tracker. <clears throat> Just put a little box for each day and check the box off every time you do it. Um, Jerry Seinfeld actually had the, a big calendar he would use and he just put a big X through every day that he did something and his intent was just not to break the, the streak, right? Not to break the line. So you can keep track of a habit that way until it becomes um, a habit or until the project is done. It, I also am a big fan of an app that's called coach.me. Uh, you can just tap the habit once you complete it and it tracks it for you. For larger projects, you may or may not be able to do just a checkbox on a daily basis. It often helps in that case maybe to write down your goal and then break it into smaller milestones. Then you can record your progress and how much closer you're inching to that of your goals. Um, sometimes you might need a tool. There's some out there for smaller projects like Monday or Asana, and they can help you keep track of the various steps within a larger project. Um, the other thing you do is make to-do lists. I'm a big fan of to-do lists, but if you want a to-do list, you write a list out of everything you want to get done for the day. Uh, I find it helpful to do this the day before, that way I don't have to worry about it later, but play around with how many items to put on your list, whether to do it the day before or the morning of, that's really up to you. You don't want it to overwhelm you, but you do want it to challenge you to get more, more done on your list. So sometimes the list helps to hold you accountable because you can see in black and white if you've really procrastinated or not. I am a big fan on my computer. I use Notepad and the Reminder apps a lot on my iPhone. They're simple and always with me. Just be careful not to allow yourself to get too distracted by the device itself. Another way you can get accountability is to tell someone else about your plans. If there's something you've been struggling to get done, sometimes just telling someone else about your plans is a, is a way that you can help finally tackle it. Call a friend, tell your spouse, announce it on social media, encourage people that you're sharing with to also check back in with you and how you're doing. It may give you that little extra push you need to stop procrastinating. Um, I personally do uh, post an accountability thread in a few different groups that I'm in when I'm really trying to work on a gnarly bad habit. Whatever works for you, try it out. Um, last but not least, find an accountability buddy. Um, find someone else who's procrastinating and holding start holding them and yourself accountable. Um, this could be as simple as checking in once in the morning to declare what you each want to get done and then again at the end of the day to see what happened. Uh, knowing someone else is right there along with you can be super, super motivating. Um, I personally have an accountability buddy that I work with in terms of getting my step count in every day. Um, he and I check in whenever we either hit our goals or we're kind of struggling and it's definitely been a, a big help for me. Hopefully uh, he thinks it's a big help for him as well. Um, so give each of these different strategies a try and see which one gives you the best results. Just like anything else, procrastination is a habit and you can get out of this what you put into it. So if you want to turn yourself into a more motivated and productive version of yourself, then give some of these strategies a try and do what works best for you. All right, party people. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.